Hi guys, this is Missy from The Book Rat, and this is my In My Mailbox for June 26, 2011. Before we get into the books, um, I just want to say, I know my hair is crazy today. This is what happens when I let it dry naturally. But to go with the crazy, I have <laughs> Fascinator. Is anyone else a fan of having ridiculous things on their head? Because I am. I love it. Just putting that out there. Alright, so let's get straight into the books. I want to start off with a huge thank you to Liz at Consumed by Books. She sent me two goodies this weekend. One I knew she was sending me and one was a complete surprise because she's awesome like that. The surprise was Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I was talking to Liz and Allison from The Allure of Books on Twitter about um, what I should buy. I had some money, I had some Borders books and I was trying to decide what to get and they were both saying this and I was kind of waffling because I knew it was coming out in paperback in August so I didn't really see why I should buy it you know now in hardcover um, but that was unacceptable to Liz she decided I had to have it now so she sent me a copy um, this will definitely be a beach reads book this summer um, I'm thinking probably early August I'll be reading it so definitely keep an eye out for that the other goodie that she sent me is Hourglass by Myra McIntyre. I love this cover. Um, really freaky, right? And so I've been really looking forward to this one. I thought it sounded really um, interesting and cool. And she stuffed it with some bookmarks. Um, Invincible Summer slash Break, which is signed as you see. Night Spell by Leah Cypress which is fine. And this one kind of cracked me up. The Near Witch by Victoria Schwab, which is fine. And I was cracking up because just before I got Hourglass in the mail, I got <laughs> So Liz and I are obviously on the same wavelength. Um, so someone will definitely be getting one of these. I think um, I might save one for like a giveaway prize pack and then the other will just go on to someone. I'm not sure who yet. So thank you so very much Liz and if you haven't checked out Liz's blog, Consumed by Books, you definitely should. She has great stuff always and she's been a part of Jane and June which is super fun. Alright so on to the rest of it. I got for review Witch Song by Amber Argyle. This one comes out September 1st from Romalda Publishing, um, and I just fell in love with this cover. I think it's absolutely beautiful, so definitely keep an eye out this summer for my review of this and maybe some goodies, who knows. And then I bought, um, as I said, I had Borders Bucks, and they have buy one get one half off paperbacks, so apparently it was like the fall theme because I got fall for anything and Falling Under, so kind of interesting. Um, but Fall for Anything is contemporary. It's by Courtney Summers, and everyone raves about her. I recently bought Some Girls Are, and I figured I'd go ahead and get this one too because I thought it sounded really good, and I love the cover. And then Falling Under is by Gwen Hayes, and it's a sort of supernatural book. Um, I hadn't intended to read it, and then someone, and I can't remember who, told me that they actually thought I'd really like it. Um, I guess we'll see, but I do love this cover. And one thing, if you haven't been in contact with the cover before, I love the feel of it. It's very um, satiny and rubbery doesn't sound appealing, but it's got that sort of rubbery, vinyl-y texture. I really like it, so don't know when I'll get to those two, but I have them. And then lastly, just some kind of cool little things. If you've been paying attention to Jane and June at all, you'll have seen multiple giveaways from Antique Fashionista, which is a shop on Etsy, and it's full of beautiful um, watercolors that have been turned into bookmarks and card sets and things like that, um, all on sort of old-fashioned themes, um, Jane Austen, Jane Eyre, North and South, things like that. I received the giveaway packages in the mail today from Masha the Antique Fas Fashionista, so all of these very cutely wrapped 
little packages will be going to someone. You can enter to win each and every one of these. There is um, a Pride and Prejudice card set, a Northanger Abbey bookmark set, a Darcy and Lizzie bookmark set, Ladies of Pride and Prejudice bookmark set, and a Persuasion bookmark set, which is my absolute favorite. And as you see, each one has sealing wax, which is super fun. So you can enter to win these through the end of June. And it is international, so everyone can enter. Along with the packages, she also sent me this little pin that says, You pierce my soul. I am half agony, half hope. If you don't know what that's from, my heart kind of hurts for you. It is possibly one of the most romantic letters ever written by any man, fictional or otherwise. Captain Wentworth from Persuasion, and you should read it. And then speaking of sealing wax, I mentioned sealing wax in one of the Jane and June posts. And I decided that my life is not complete without sealing wax, so I ordered some. So if you ever get a letter or a package from me, it very well may be sealed with sealing wax. And probably some ridiculous seal with like a rat or a unicorn on it. <laughs> so look forward to that. So I'm going to experiment with these. Hi guys, sorry for the weird edit. After I filmed the last bit, I got a package in the mail from Disney Hyperion. Um, they sent me some books that were part of their unrequired reading, which is their summer reading push for teens. Um, I got The Near Witch by Victoria Schwab. You'll recall I got some bookmarks for this that were signed. Um, and the back cover and the spine are completely different than the front cover, so I still don't know if this is the final art, because um, everything I've seen always says cover, not final. So who knows? But I think this sounds really good, so I'm looking forward to that. I got Mercy by Rebecca Lim, which is an angel story, and as you'll know, angel stories have been really hit and miss for me, with actually only one being a hit, and that was unearthly. All the rest of the angel stories I've read have not been so great. Hoping this one will fall on the unearthly side. Love this cover so much more in person than I do online. Really, really nice in person. And the angel wings are embossed rather than colored, which I really like. And Putting Makeup on Dead People by Jen Violi. I think this cover is really kind of quirky and cool. As you'll see, it's upside down. So those are part of the Unrequired Reading from Disney Hyperion. Um, they also sent me two water bottles for Unrequired Reading. It has some of the titles on it. Um, you'll see Tweet Heart, which is on there. Um, I'm going to be reviewing that one as a beach read this summer be going in giveaways of some sort at some point. So, just had to add that in there. But anyway, that was my in my mailbox. I had a great week for books. Share a link to what you got in your mailbox or just tell me in the comments and I'll be sure to check out what you got. And I hope you have a great end of June.